what I've done now is tap into the uh, it's called DME the digital electronic uh, I'm sorry digital motor electronics device and I'm in uh, the I tap straight into the pins going to the exhaust sensor on the camshaft this exhaust the camshaft sensor in ground and this is the signal I'm getting out of it you know on that all square wave and uh, getting 4 volts up 4.2 volts up 4.5 volts down doing about uh, 5.9 hertz 5.95 hertz my duty cycle is 49.51 so we'll see what the uh, other one looks like next. That's what the intake looks like. Alright. This is actually the uh, intake camshaft sensor reading. And it's from pin. I can see that in there very well. Pin 5 on this side, which is yellow wire, and on the other side it's pin 18, which is a brown wire. And before I was actually doing the uh, exhaust. I believe I'll have to go back and check that one more time. But that was uh, pin 2 and pin 15, and this is pin 5 and pin 18. And the look our pattern is the same, frequency is the same, 5.81 hertz pretty close, my voltage is the same, duty cycle is just a little bit, it's basically the same as 50 positive, 49 negative. So, that's what we got on that. Alright, this is the crankshaft signal. As you can see, it's putting out about you know, 2.34 volts in the positive and 2.65 in the negative. And we're looking at about 700 hertz. And my duty cycle is 49 ohm, 51 off. And I've got a nice square wave, which is exactly what you would expect from that sensor. And that's... I need to... I got a gap in there for us. This thing's got 52 or 58 tooth gap. And down here I'm on pin, hard to see. I don't see it all, but I'm on pin number 8 and pin number 21. Okay, what I've done here is I've stopped the um, waveform and Here's my gap in my 52 tooth reluctor wheel. If you'll count these over until you get to the next position, well, well, well. count them all the way over until you get to the very next one. I'm going to scan it over just a little bit. It's 58 teeth until you reach this point right here. So I know that I'm getting a good signal, exactly what nice square wave, exactly 52, I mean, excuse me, 58 teeth, missing two, this is the exact signal that I need to produce. I'm going to see if I can save that somehow. And then I'll save that internally, and we'll save it. Okay. This is a signal I'm getting off MOX sensor between cylinders 1 and 3. Doesn't mean much to me. Uh, it's barely even there. And 20 millivolts. One direction. I don't even know what the frequency is. That's, 
I'm not sure. I mean, I know this is a real signal. I'll turn the motor off and it's not there with the motor running. That's what I see. And I assume that each one of these little spikes is a cylinder firing. And there's a, a uh, gap. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why. If you'll stop it, I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spikes, maybe. Another one, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know. <laughs> so I don't know what this means exactly. Well, for what it's worth, this is the uh, signal coming off of pole number one. Get five pulses. If you look right here, I saved it a little bit closer. You see, this is what the signal looks like. Uh, it spread out a little bit and slowed down. I don't know what that means, but uh, here it is. I tapped into uh, cylinder number one, the black wire, and uh, I've got my oscilloscope hooked up to it. That's what it looks like when it's idling at about uh, 700 RPM. And, uh, check the voltage across that thing and it's putting out about 13 and a half volts and again I don't know how to interpret that all right this is actually the sensor for this BMW and this is the waveform it puts out it's putting out about uh, 5 volts max Two volts upswing, maybe three to four volts down. Right now I'm pulling the frequency somewhere around 800 RPM. So, and my duty cycle is about uh, 62%. That's all over the place. And you see what it's doing. And this is my waveform. It's cutting in and out. I'm not sure exactly why that is. There's the uh, sensor hooked up. And all of our leads going to the oscilloscope. The other's coming off my 5 volt uh, sense wire. Ground is over here. And these wires lead straight up into the BMW. The ignition is on but the uh, car is not running and the tachometer is not on. I can, I have the uh, sensor on the inside disconnected. On the, that's the crankshaft sensor disconnected. The camshaft is still connected, so I can go start the car, it will run, but it's not responding to this signal that I'm putting out at all. And I've got to figure out why that is. What is what is so abnormal about this signal that it won't, won't pick it up?